Welcome back. And today we're going to take a look at a company called Exceed Designs. Now they primarily make very, very high quality utility knives like these right here, but they have recently just released something really interesting. Their first folding knife. It is an absolute beauty and we're going to talk about it today. It is quite amazing today how you can make your first knife as a company and nail it so well. And I think they have done exactly that with the Aver. This has some features that honestly I haven't seen in many knives and I really think should be more common. So first of all, the thing that I really like and I was really enticed by in the pictures is the fact that they have a milled pattern on both the front and back of the titanium. And titanium, when it's kind of stonewashed, can be a little slippery. And so having that extra texture, well, it feels really, really good, I have to say. Um, it's not, it doesn't really bite, but it does feel like some kind of traction, and I do really appreciate it. Plus, it looks awesome. Now, uh, there's a, a lot of things to talk about in this knife. There's some big, pretty standard things that we see in premium knives, like an all-titanium construction, M390 blade steel, flipper tab, bearings, and so on, but then there's some unconventional choices that I want to point out. The first one that I noticed is this pocket clip. It's a mill titanium clip, and most of the time when we get a mill titanium clip, we don't always get a chance to have it reversible. Now, I've seen a couple companies have creative ways to fix this problem, and I really like this solution. Because of the way this is set at the very back, you get not only a reversible clip, but one that is deep carry, and that is pretty unusual. So really well done there. The other thing I really like is that the show side of this knife is gorgeous. It, it's really done very, very, very well. Um, on this side, you can see that there's a number of the unit that you get, as well as the blade steel, which is in M390. The only thing I'm going to say is I wish the, the emblem for Aver was just small, some maybe a single uh, just look, or maybe it doesn't need to be there at all, but I completely understand the need to want to say what it is. The counter I have to that argument is when you see something you really like, you don't have a name on it, you tend to go into hard research mode to find that item. And I think that part of the discovery is what makes it so much fun to be in this genre of knives in general. So I think that they absolutely could have done that. And I, obviously if you're just showing this side, well then yeah, you can't even see the name of the thing. But uh, definitely, I, I, just, I just don't think it's necessary and it's just such a nice blade and you really wanna see it. Now we have a compound grind here. It is actually done really well has a proper sharpening choil. The grind is pretty even. Yeah, it's pretty even on mine, but it's gonna change right here. It's gonna get a little thicker uh, behind the edge than it is back here with a full flat grind. I almost wish, uh, so this is just a preference, but is not necessary. I think that I would have liked a hollow grind com combined with this sort of compound edge. And so you get all the sliciness of the hollow grind along with the very thick tip. I don't know, I've just, recently had a couple knives like that and it just I would love to see a variation like it. Now it's not a tanto shape you could see it's not it's curved it's not a tanto shape it's a drop point and uh, just a really clean clean design. The other thing that you probably noticed with the front not having any screws there's still a spot you could see the difference in coloration where the pivots or screws are locked in place and you only have two screws basically holding this thing together. And these are just screws that hold in the lock bar insert. Now, this is something that this company has been well known for. When you get the box, don't throw it away and be very careful because this company regularly sends their knives and tools with spare components so you don't have to buy a second one or even contact them when something breaks. They basically have replacements. So they have a replacement screw. They even have a replacement, uh, oh, that's actually the screw. That's pretty cool. So the screw here with that custom head is gonna be right there. You have a spare pivot screw 
a spare lock bar insert and detent ball, and then you have a tool to take the whole thing apart. So really, really nice. I like their approach on this. I, I only have like, other than the, the branding, which I think is unnecessary because by going through a search, you kind of get excited about the whole thing and kind of the hunt for the tool or the knife is like half the fun. So I, I don't think they need the name there, but you know, the fact that they have a clean side like this, well, that, that is great. Now we also have proper lock bar access here. And because of the pocket clip, which is deep carry and fully reversible, it's gonna be almost the same experience for left and right handers for the most part. Like it, there's a little bit of a difference in how you unlock a, a right-handed knife that's a frame lock with your left handed, but it's not that different. And the fact that you don't have to get a different knife for that, well, that's really, really good. The action is very good on this. It came perfectly centered and just, just a nice way that they did this knife. And I gotta say in hand, it feels very, very good. That texturing really can be felt. You really feel like you're not slipping or moving around with this knife whatsoever. It's just a really, really clean design. I am very curious to see what you guys think down below. How does this stack up to the other knives on the market? I'm not sure who the OEM is, but if it was my guess, it would probably be Best Tech. Um, it's too inexpensive, relatively speaking, to be made by Riot. And the quality here is truly excellent. It's very, very, very good. So. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm definitely gonna be carrying this from now and again, and it's it's just a beautiful piece. I still think that it probably should be a hollow compound grind, but maybe I'm in the minority. You let me know. What is your opinion on the hollow grind? From here, I'd like to talk about the new versions of their utility knife blades, which are kind of limited release, and then we will close it up for the day. Now, where Exceed Designs really took off is with this. This is the Tyrant Razor. Now I have a couple of generations here. So the first one is uh, this right here with the non-locking pivot. And there were some things that needed improvement. And when they did in the generation three, where they added the extra raised lip so you can disengage the lock a little bit easier. And they made a cutout for it in here. They changed the bearings, they captured the pivot. They added a prying section that you could get access to as well. They did a lot of things in Gen 3. And frankly, this is probably one of the best utility knife blades on the market, really. Uh, it's going to work and it's gonna work and it's gonna work some more. And part of that is because all of these come with spare hardware. They come with the lock bar insert, they come with the pivot, they come with all the additional screws and of course, spare blades and a tool in order to adjust them. It's just a really positive experience when you get one and they will, as long as you don't lose it, they will last a very long time and you can use them very hard. Although they are premium, most knives that are premium in nature don't get a ton of actual hard use for most people. And so you having something that is both enjoyable to carry because it's premium, it matches, you know, they have carbon fiber, they have this milled pattern that you can do hard work with is really great. The other nice thing is if you are in a situation where you have to remove the blade, you can simply do that and then you're good to go. And then there's no blade, there's nothing to worry about with this little item, right? It's just a fidget toy now, which is very enjoyable, I will, I will admit. And they have released a bunch of variations. You can start at $80 with the Gen 3, and you can go up to like 200, depending on all the different add-ons. This particular one right here is probably my favorite they have released thus far. It has been milled aftermarket, basically. Um, when they got here, they went ahead and they milled this pattern in and then coated this one. And now that I have the texture and I've experienced it, I honestly don't know if I could go back. These are incredible. And I think that the plain titanium is even grippier. There's just a little bit more bite to it. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the one I would go with. And it also, well, it matches with the new Avair pretty well. 
while still giving you some differentiation on texturing. Titanium and steel, just a really, really nice offering from Exceed Designs. These are not for everyone, right? This is not exactly something I would recommend to every person, but if you find yourself using utility knife blade often and you think you're going to enjoy the experience, it may be worth it. I know people who work in the trades who love this knife so much, they have multiple copies and variations. They just, it's just a really good piece. And the customer service experience is also quite good. So, not much more to say today. I just wanted to show you guys that they have this new pattern out and I wanted to cover the Avair when it got to me. This is a absolute gorgeous knife. If you are into premium knives and you wanna try the first knife from this company, well, I think they, I don't know if they're actually available yet, but they are maybe even pre-orders. Whatever I have, I will link down below. Uh, and I uh, wish you good luck trying to get one. I think these are gonna be incredibly popular. As always, thank you guys so much for your time, and we'll talk again soon.